Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, the topic differentiation and its lesson three. And we will discuss the differentiation related to the paper three. Today we will focus on the derivatives of trigonometric functions that how to find the derivative of a trigonometric function. Let's see the formula sheet that in formula sheet they said that sine of x and cos of x derivative of it means that d by d of x is equals to sine of x will be equals to derivative of this thing will be equals to cos of x. Let me write it in a correct way, in a better way. That d by d of sine x, uh, sine x will be equals to cos of x. And then d by d of x cos of x will be equals to minus sine of x and d by d of x tan of x is equals to secant square of x. That's what it, it will be given to us. Here you can see that this will be given to us. The sine of derivative of sine of x will be cos of x cos of x will be minus sine of x, tan of x will be secant square of x. And then we have the other trigonometric functions like differentiation of secant x, cosecant x and cot f x. But we will prefer in, in, in paper 3, we will prefer these three only. Now, let's say we have a question. Let's say if we have a expression like d by d of x sine of 2x plus 5. Now how to find this one? This will be equals to the derivative of sine is cos of x. So this will be equals to cos of 2x plus 5. Here we can see that our x, if we compare it with this one, our x will be, our x will be 2x plus 5. So that is why we have to write it over here. But there is another thing we have to keep this thing in your mind that we have to take the internal derivative. And if we take the internal derivative, this will be 2x plus 5. Now, finally, we will get cos of 2x plus 5 into now the derivative of 2x will be 2 and the derivative of 5 will be 0. So this will be 2 and the final answer will be 2 cos of 2x plus 5. This will be the final answer. There is no need to write uh, this step and this one. No need to write this, these two steps. But it is just for the sake of understanding you can directly write you can directly write 2 sine of x is equals 2 sine of 2x plus 5 will be equals to cos of 2x plus 5 2 into cos of 2x plus 5. Now the important point over here is that it is only applicable like if let's say if we have a question like this 2 d by d of x cos of 3x minus 8. So we can directly write the derivative of cos of x is minus sine of 3x minus 8. And then whatever the coefficient of x we have to multiply it with this thing. It is not mentioned in the formula sheet, but you have to keep this thing in your mind if you want to directly then it means that you have to follow this rule that whatever we have the coefficient of x, we have to multiply it with the expression. Now, but keep this thing in your mind that this is on this thing is only applicable when we have a linear function inside the inside inside the trigonometric function. Now let's see an, an example and then we will move on to the other concept let's discuss the few basic examples related to the trigonometric functions let's say we have a question like y is equals to tan of x whole divided 
whole divided by x square so how to solve how to differentiate it what we have to do is we have to find dy by df x now how to solve this thing now dy by dx keep this thing in your mind that whenever we have two functions in in division mode what we have to do we have to first of all take we have to use the quotient rule first so here we go that x square first into derivative of second minus second into derivative of first all is divided by this thing square now this will be equals to x square and the derivative of tan of x is secant square of x so secant square of x minus tan of x into 2x because the derivative of x square will be 2x and then we have to, this will be this will be the final answer we can simplify it further but i think this should be the final answer and uh, let's move to another example the second example Now the second example, y is equal to 3 plus 2 sine of x whole power 5. So what we have to do is find dy by dx. So here we go that first of all we have to write. Now in the previous case we have to use the quotient rule. But here we have to use the power rule first. Now the power whatever we have the power over here we have to write it this. 3 plus 2 sine of x whole power 5 minus 1. This is the power rule. But keep this thing in your mind that whenever we have to use, we use the power rule, we have to take the internal derivative. Means that we have to differentiate it again. We have to differentiate this portion again. Now this will be if we take the internal derivative this will be equals to now the derivative of the constant will be 0 and the derivative of 2 sine of x will be let's see what will be the answer 3 plus 2 sine of x into 2 now the derivative of sine of x is cos of x all of x this will be the final answer we can write it in a better way that this will be 10 call of x into 3 plus 2 sine of x whole power 4 this will be the final answer we can do it directly but whatever we have we have to multiply we have to take the internal derivative so what is the key point that after the quotient rule after the power rule after the product rule we have to use even if not even if we have a function uh, like trigonometric function exponential function function logarithmic function we have to take the internal derivative so never forget never forget to take internal derivative internal derivative so you keep this thing in your mind now let's move to another example let's move to the another example let's say y is equals to cos of 2x minus pi by 4 whole divided by x square now what we have to do we have to find dy by dx keep this thing in your mind that right now we are only focusing on the differentiation of trigonometric functions so we will restrict ourselves to the differentiation of the quadratic functions or, or trigonometric functions 
now here we we have to use the quotient rule first so first into derivative of second minus second into derivative of first whole divided by the square now if we solve it so this will be x square into now derivative of cos of x cos of x is minus sine of x so this will be minus sine of x now here keep this thing in your mind that 2x minus pi by 4 is our x right now so this should be 2x minus pi by 4 into internal derivative of this thing d by dx no need to write this thing it is just for the sake of understanding that you can write it like this minus cos of 2x minus pi by 4 and the derivative of this thing will be 2x whole divided by x power 4 now this will be equals to minus x square sine of 2x minus pi by 4 now what will be the derivative of this thing this portion will be 2x and pi, derivative of minus pi by 4 will be 0 so we can directly write 2x minus 2x cos of 2x minus pi by 4 whole divided by x power 4 we can simplify it further but right now my main focus was to on the internal derivative that we have to take the internal derivative or you can directly write for this case you can directly multiply multiply the expression with the coefficient of x whenever you want to take the internal derivative but keep this in your mind that your x must be an a linear function if not linear then you have to take the internal derivative just like the, in the previous case we have we, we did it, this thing that if you will not take the internal derivative your answer will not be correct so that is it for today uh, today we have discussed the dif topic differentiation and we have discussed the basic formulas that the in formula sheet we have the formula like this but in actually we have the questions like this so be very careful about this thing especially the important thing is that never forget to take the internal derivative whether it is a trigonometric function it is a exponential function log function whatever it is but never forget to take the internal derivative and if you have any question you can ask it in the comment section i hope that the concept is clear thank you Thank you.